Hi, welcome to the video What is Object Class in Java? With me, Nam Ha Ming from CodeJava.net You know, Object Class is an important concept of object-oriented programming in general and of Java programming language in a specific and in this uh, video I will help you understand what Object Class is about in Java when using Object Classes and some rules about Java object classes with some code examples that uh, help you understand the concept easily. Firstly, uh, let's understand what is object class in Java. You know, an object class is incomplete. That means it has methods with concrete implementation and it also has object methods with no body, no implementation and its subclasses uh, should implement the object methods and in Java code, an object class is declared uh, with the object modifier and the object methods are also declared with the object modifier and they have no body, no concrete implementation Let me show you some code examples to understand the concept of object class in Java you see in this uh, class diagram uh, the animal is an object class it has two concrete uh, methods eat and sleep and an object uh, one object move here and there are three subclasses of animal eagle, shark and alligator these classes uh, a subtype of animal and because the animal class uh, defines the object method move so the subclasses must provide implementation uh, in each uh, subclass as you can see here okay let me show you the code here so this is the code of um, animal class which is object class so we use the modifier object here to concrete uh, methods here eat and sleep and one object method move here you see this object method is also declared with the object modifier and it has no body you see it ends with a semicolon like this no body okay and um, let's see the subclasses uh, ego yeah ego extends animal and it must override or provide implementation uh, for the object method declared by its superclass uh, move here yeah. you see move uh, method uh, implementation in the subclass ego and the shark class here also extends the animal object class and it overrides the move method and um, alligator is also a subtype of animal and it must uh, provide implementation for the object method move uh, which is uh, declared in the superclass move here makes sense and I have a test class here animal test you see the method the static method play with animal that has one parameter of type animal and it calls uh, the operations defined by the animal object class move eat and sleep it uh, doesn't care about the actual object type it cares only about it is playing with uh, objects of type animal and in the main method here I create three uh, different objects types uh, ego shark and alligator and call the static method play with animal passing the object each object ego shark and alligator okay and let me run the application the program and you see in the control view it prints i'm flying on the sky eating and sleeping uh, this year from the object of thai ego and i'm swimming under the sea eating sleeping this year from the object of thai shark and the last one i can swim in water and claw on land it is being to see from the object of type alligator so you can see using uh, object class 
the code here uh, this is the clan code of the object uh, class it doesn't care about the actual object type so the code is uh, polymorphic is uh, uh, dynamic at runtime depending on the actual object type passed into the method i hope this uh, makes uh, sense to you and the next question is when using object classes you know we can use object classes to promote code reusability via inheritance an object class implements operations that are common to subclasses and subclasses inherit and reuse concrete methods in the superclass and we can also use object classes to promote a polymorphic code an object class defines object methods that need to be implemented by subclasses and the client code uses the methods declared in the object class uh, follows the contracts uh, without knowing the actual objects and depending on the actual objects uh, that are created from the subclasses the client code will behave differently in other words uh, the code is polymorphic a very good example of using object classes is in the java collection framework uh, for example in the uh, list collection api hierarchy you can see uh, there's uh, an object class object collection and object list object collection uh, defines some common operations some operations that are common to all collections and object list is also a type of object collection but it adds uh, some operations that are common to list type and two uh, implementations of object list uh, array list and vector uh, these as uh, classes uh, that uh, uh, provide uh, implementation of the object methods uh, declare in the object list and object collection okay let me show you the code so i create a new java class here with the main method object test and here i create a list collection list a string for example string equal new array list okay and let's jump into the source code of the array list class window show view outline to see the methods okay and in this array list class you can see it extend extends the object list and implements the list interface and the object list is an object class it extends the object collection object class you can see and you can see this object collection class uh, defines some object methods uh, such as iterator size and it also implements some concrete methods like is empty contains and so on to array add clear and in the object list class uh, is uh, also declares an object method get here you see the method has no body and it implements uh, the method iterator here iterator and in the array list class it implements the object method uh, declare in the object list uh, the method the method get here the method get is declared as object here in the object list class and it is uh, overridden or implemented in the subclass array list here you see so using object classes uh, we can it is uh, possible to design a flexible api like this okay so uh, if i want to 
create my own type of list uh, collection I can create a new type here my list type okay so instead of writing the code for a list uh, from scratch I can simply extend abstract list okay you see for example apply t okay and I need to provide implementation for the get and size uh, method and reuse all the operations uh, implemented in the super class here you see okay so I hope this example makes sense to you and lastly uh, let's understand some rules about java object classes the first one if a class has an object method it must be declared as object this is obvious next an object class uh, can have no object methods at all yeah, let me show you an example we have abstract bird class here and it has two concrete methods it has no object method and know that you can't create new objects from an object class because object classes are incomplete so they can't be instantiated and the first non-abstract class must provide implementation for the object methods declared in its uh, super object class. An object class can inherit another object class. In this case, the subclass is free to implement the abstract methods defined in the super class or not. Let me show you uh, an example. So here I have the reptile class which is an object class it extends the animal object class and you see uh, this animal object class uh, declare declares an object method move but in the reptile object class i don't have to override i don't have to implement that move method because this is object class not a non abstract and but in the non abstract class for, for example um, uh, viper here you see this is a, a non abstract class it extends the reptile class so it must provide implementation for all the abstract methods crawl and move make sense all right so in this video i hope you have a better understanding about object classes in java you got what object class is about when using object classes and some rules about java object classes with some code examples i hope you found this video helpful please subscribe to my channel like comment and share this video thanks for watching